retrieved the Elder Scroll. You should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Now that you've retrieved the elders, so my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul cairn, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? The last chance. I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. After what I've put Serana through, I would understand if she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Lars and Enoch. Between life and death. The hostility was necessary. I was bound to an oath. I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, I roamed the skies above Tamriel. I desire to return there. I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I will place my name with you and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor. And I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thun. Trivial in your mind, perhaps. For me, it would mean a great deal. 
I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. There was a time when I called Tamriel my home, but those days have long since passed. The Nova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. I was, but unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favor deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind, but fortunately they couldn't possess my soul. Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The soul cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there, through your call. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. I'm glad we found the scroll. 